Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Gina and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a clown Halloween makeup look. And if you want to see how I get that look, because I don't have it on my face right now, then you should keep watching the video. But before you do that, you should hit that subscribe button so that you can see all my other videos and be subscribed. Because why wouldn't you not want to be? Alright, so I'm going in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I am priming my eyes like I always do for my eyeshadows just so that it has something to stick to. I also put the tape on my eyes so that we have a nice precise line for the eyeshadow. I'm using my Kat Von D setting powder to set my uh, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Now the palette I'm using is a Too Faced Super Fun Night palette and I'm using the shade Oh What Fun as a crease shade and then I realized I don't really need a crease shade if I was to put all black on my eyes like you'll see in a little bit. Now I'm going in with No Peeking and that is the black shade that will be going all over my eyes. And after this I changed my um, blending brush so that it picks it up and it's more dense. They're just from BH Cosmetics. Now I'm going in with the black from the Glitter Bomb palette by Too Faced. And I'm taking the glitter glue, this is also by Too Faced, and I'm going to put this on my eyes as an adhesive for the glitter that I will be using. And I'm just applying that with my finger and I warmed it up a little bit before I completely put it on my eye. And I'm just dabbing it on with my finger, it's the easiest way to apply it. Now I was originally going with the pink, but I'm actually going to be going in the shade Work It and I'm putting that on the inner corner of my eye and more of to the lid. On the other side, I use a different shade, and that will be the Hot Dam on my other eye. And I'm just packing that on with a brush. This brush is from Wet n Wild. That, I'm taking Hot Dam on that side. I did the exact same setup with the glitter glue. I also am pretty sure I mixed in a little bit of Work It into the purple so that it like popped a little bit more. Now this is the um, Urban Decay Primer. Not really a big fan of it. It was like to help for oily skin. And I don't have oily skin. Going in with my clay stick foundation, you know my normal shade, my normal foundation. But I did my lightest shade that I'm not at yet, so that is light beige. Because we're going for a clown look, so might as well be lighter. If you notice my lights look a little bit different, I got better um, bulbs for my makeup stand. Make sure you please blend it to your neck. Don't want your neck to be a different color, please. Going in with the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Applying that all over and I'll be using a tiny little beauty blender to blend it all out. I notice that the tiny beauty blenders will work a lot easier than the big beauty blender because they're more precise. I can get it right like up into my lash line so it's very nice. Now I'm going in with the um, Tardis Pro palette and I'm using the creamy contour shade and I am applying that with a wet n wild brush just to give a little bit of a contour. And then I will go in with the shade, literally called shade, it's the powder to um, set it. This is my uh, Tarte Unicorn Collection brush I use to blend out all of my um, creamy bronzer.
Now I'm setting the rest of my face again with the Kat Von D setting powder, taking this big tart brush, and I'm just panning it on. That is the shade from my big blush book. That is the shade Peachy, and that is the shade for um, the contour. I mean, the oh my gosh, the blush, and that was the highlighter from the shade and highlight palette from the uh, Smashbox holiday collection in the shade Pearly. Doing my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, you know, my normal go-to brow products. And I'm setting it with the Anastasia Brow Gel. Now I am outlining first the shapes that before I go in with the gel because I saw this on another YouTuber's page on um, Nicole Guerrero did it and I thought it was literally perfect because what if you accidentally mess up then this way you just trace the lines with your gel eyeliner. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking that gull that ghost sculpting thing from Makeup Revolution. I'm using that black shade and I'm just applying it everywhere that I'm gonna be putting the gel eyeliner. I'm taking that gel eyeliner that I used in my first video for the skull, the Sonia Kajuk, whatever the last name is, and I am outlining the outlines. I backed you up a little bit so you can see exactly what I was doing. I brought you guys back in because I figured it might have been a little bit too hard to see what I was doing on the outside. And I'm going to be adding in that black gel liner into the middle to get our triangles. I'm taking that black again and I'm setting it. Remember you set it so it doesn't crease just like you would with your um, concealer. I don't know why I just showed it again because I'm using the same stuff for this whole video. I'm packing in the red into the inner corner of my eye. So it's just like a little bit of a highlight and it looks more dramatic. I am lining my bottom lash line with a Lancome um, pencil eyeliner. And I forgot to do my nose. I took a little bit of a white to like diffuse it a little bit in one little area. Now I am outlining my lips while I'm lining them with the gel eyeliner. And then in the center of the lip, I'm gonna be putting a red by Kat Von D. It's just one of her stick um, lipsticks. And it will make it look like an ombre look at the end when you see it. I'm also using a MAC one from the Ariana Grande collection. 